I think if you want to separate your bike from the pack, doing a set of custom wheels really changes the look of your bike. Pack down like my mule, roll shit, tank full, kick back with my feet up. I twist the back and I speed up, left lane, pipe full, move fast when it's got more. Clear skies. Thank you, Lord, I'm gliding. Perfect day for riding. 500 in front of me and I'm right here where I want to be. It's a beautiful day and I thank God for it all. I'm, I'm traveling tall. All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be talking about wheels for your Harley-Davidson motorcycle. I'm gonna show you five motorcycles and you could judge for yourself how big of an impact it is when you put custom wheels on your bike. If you look at your profile of your motorcycle, one of the things that stand out are the wheels and an ugly wheel can absolutely destroy the way your motorcycle looks. For example, Harley-Davidson used to make some hideous wheels, absolutely hideous wheels for their motorcycles. This came off of the 2005 Road King, 21 years ago, but this is what they used to put on their bikes and that's just ugly. I don't care which way you look at it, that is ugly. It was ugly in 2005, it's ugly in 2024, and it will be ugly in 2025 and continue to be ugly. This is what you used to see on Harley-Davidson motorcycles. So custom wheels used to make such a big impact on the way people's bike look. Now Harley made ugly wheels on their motorcycles for a long, long time. Sorry Harley, but it's true. In fact, the first time that I liked a set of wheels that Harley-Davidson put on their bike was 2014. Now this is an enforcer wheel. Uh, they've been making this since 2014. It came on Street Glides, a five spoke wheel with a split. Now, just for, for information's sake, they actually made an enforcer two wheel that came out in 2021 uh, that looked very similar to this, but not quite like this. The newer enforcer wheel just had, uh, the spokes were split out, just spread out just a little bit more. But this is the first wheel that I like that Harley ever came out with. It was decent. I still changed them out for some custom wheels, but um, it, it looked better than anything else that they had before. In fact, a lot of people would take this wheel and get it powder coated. So here's what an enforcer looks like, powder coated in black. I took this off the front of my 2005 Road King. It looks really good powder coated in black. I've seen them in orange, I've seen them in red. Alternative from buying an aftermarket wheel when you can just powder coat the factory wheels. I've seen people do that with the new design that Harley has on their 2024 road glides and street glides, which I have a set of those, but I'm not about to bring another set of wheels out here. This particular wheel and those other enforcers that I have, if you look in the description below, it will say uh, links to join the channel. It's a paid subscription, $5 a month though, gets you some live videos and updates from the road, members only videos, and it also makes you eligible for the auction. And the auction for this, I don't care if there's two or three people watching, the bid will start at a dollar, and if it sells for two dollars, you pay shipping and it goes your way. It, it doesn't matter. I got too many Harley takeoff parts in the garage that I need to get rid of, and those auctions will be coming soon. Make sure you hit that link if you wanna join that. All right guys, so enough talking. Let me show you what you came here for. We're gonna take a look at some wheels on the motorcycles. All right, so let's go check them out. All right guys, so this is my 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide all blacked out and it's sitting on some Coastal Moto Marlin wheels. 21 in the front and 18 in the rear. These wheels can fit a 23, but the rotor size is different. Guys, now this is my 23 Harley Davidson Road Glide. It's the standard. In 23, they had specials, CVOs, and all that stuff. This and STs, just, just the standard. Black and chrome. Now this one has the Marlin 21 inch wheel in the front, Marlin 18 inch wheel in the rear by Coastal Moto. Don't let anybody tell you you can't see the rear. You definitely can see that back there. Now here is my 2005 Harley-Davidson Road King that I call Memphis. 
I got this motorcycle from my uncle and I did all this stuff to it. Now these wheels, I think, are Ultima. To be honest with you guys, they're my least favorite wheels because they're not chrome. They're polished aluminum. But they look good. It's just that I wish that they were chrome. And I really hate these rotors. I never got around to changing out those rotors. They look very dated. I meant front brake disc changing out. But I have a 21 on the front of this motorcycle and an 18 in the back. That's the setup that I have on my road glides. This bike still handles very good. 21 makes it slightly more harder to uh, get it off the kickstand because it leans over a lot more. These older bikes had those really skinny tires in the back. So it's like super narrow, you can see that. It's the only thing I don't like about these older bikes. Other than that, it's a great looking bike. All right guys, now this is my 2019 Harley Davidson Street Glide. And this is the second set, well third set of wheels that's been on this bike. This is the RC component Laguna lightweight racing wheels. Now these wheels are extremely light. Now on this bike, I have 19s in the front and 17 in the rear. Now I'll tell you why I went with 19 in the front and 17 in the rear. It's because this is my performance bike. It's making 177 horsepower, 153 foot-pounds of torque. I have Gaffler rotors in the front and Gaffler rotors in the rear. So that big 200 tire underneath, that Senko drag hookup. And of course, guys, has nothing to do with the wheels, but it is chain drive. It's the second set of RC components that has been on this bike. And RC Components makes great wheels, but these race wheels, aluminum lightweight wheels, they weigh a lot less, and they are fantastic for anybody who's thinking about building a performance bagger. So now, why didn't I go with carbon fiber wheels? Carbon fiber wheels, you have to go get them inspected every couple thousand miles to make sure there's no cracks or anything in them. So if you're riding with carbon fiber wheels on the road, you're supposed to get them inspected. If they hit a pothole, they can fracture and the next time they hit a pothole, they can actually just disintegrate while you're riding. And check out that Traveling Tall Fern Stainless Edition pipe. Look at that. Check that out right there. You can get that at GlideKings.com. The main reason why I went with 19s is because I wanted to save on weight too. And 19s does turn in a little bit faster than uh, the 21 does. So I took the 21 off that I had on it and I put the 19 on it and the 17. Um, and of course I went with 17 so it would be a wider wheel in the back and I could fit that 200 underneath. RC Components, Laguna, lightweight race wheels. Now this is my 2003 100th anniversary Heritage Softail Classic that I call Millie, short for Milwaukee since it's 100th anniversary. I love this bike. It is, uh, if you haven't been watching the channel, you may, have not, you may have not seen this one, but I put this one together over the winter of last year. Now this bike had spokes on it, but I got rid of the small spokes put these fat spokes on there and I think it looks really good with the fat spokes and white walls on it anytime you put fat spokes and white walls on a heritage I think it looks fantastic and of course we had to have the front and rear matching wheel we don't do that one wheel thing on any bike you definitely can see the wheel on this bike and it came with the chrome disc so it took this heritage soft tail plastic from okay to awesome to be in one of my favorite bikes. Now, what I found out is they actually make 
for the small tire motorcycle four and a quarter. So in the back, I went with four and a quarter. So if I was doing it again, I would take and put four and a quarter on my road team instead of leaving that super skinny one on the back. When you increase the diameter, it makes the wheel so much more dramatic. And I think it looks really, really clean. Doesn't take anything away from it because it had spokes and white walls. Would have had spokes, but not white walls. All right, so there it is, guys. I think if you want to separate your bike from the pack, doing a set of custom wheels really changes the look of your bike, especially when you have a black bike. Well, most of my bikes are black. Black bikes like I have, people say there's no originality in that. But if you put a set of wheels on it, it can take your bike from stock to just a showstopper in a matter of seconds. All right, guys, so I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you want to be notified when new videos come available, hit that notification bell. And I've heard a lot of people hit the subscribe and notification bell, but next time they went to YouTube, it showed that it wasn't subscribed. So just go back and check to make sure that the subscribe button is hit. And also the notification bell is hit as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day.